Okay, so we're going to try and do an earthwork estimating problem right now. It's a fairly easy one. Um, so you have your station, your end area cut and end area fill, and your strip cut and strip fill given to you. So the first thing we're going to go about doing right now is calculating the volume of cut at each station. And to do that, I have these formulas over here which tell you what you need to do. So for your end area cut, that's just the end area cut, or sorry, for the volume of cut, it's just the end area cut at that station plus the end area cut at the previous station, divided by two, and then multiply that by the distance from the current station to the previous station, which is that minus that. And then you have to divide the entire thing by 27 to get it into uh, cubic yards. So we do that, and then we can drag down that cell, and that gives us the correct answers. So then moving on to volume of fill, it's essentially the exact same thing, but with the end area fill instead of the end area cut. So we're going to do that plus that, divided by 2. And then the distance between stations, which is that minus that. Divide the entire thing by 27 again to get it into cubic yards and drag down to get the correct answers. And total cut, you can see on the right, is the volume of cut minus the strip cut. So we'll do that. Volume of cut minus the strip cut, which is given to you. And then you can drag that one down. And then total fill is pretty much the same thing, but it is the volume of fill plus the strip fill. So we'll do volume of fill <coughs> plus the strip fill, drag that down. And the next thing to calculate is the adjusted fill, which is equal to the total fill divided by 0.9. And that just changes from compacted cubic yards to bank cubic yards. <coughs> so it's equal to that divided by 0.9 and drag that down. And the algebraic sum is equal to the total cut minus the adjusted fill. You can just drag this down too. I have the graph set up to uh, show you the algebraic sum versus the distance. And there you have it. That's all you need to do to do the earthwork estimating problem.